Alrighty, so let's check on these hives. This is another single stack. I finally got my veil back from my little man. I took him in the house, let him cool off a little bit. If y'all ain't seen the other videos, he was using my veil. It's kind of like a shirt. He was able to put both his arms in it, close it up on the bottom and uh, be able to watch me check on these hives up close. They've really got this hive properized together really good. The B numbers are a little low in this hive. So let's see what we got. Nothing really on that side. I've been feeding these bees past probably a week or two. I've still got a little bit more sugar water or more uh, sugar to feed them. As you can see, this is pollen and nectar all on this frame. Normally your outside frames are gonna be your pollen and your nectar frames. And the further you get to the center of here should be where your brood is gonna be at. I'm trying to get all these single stack hives built up enough where they go into winter in a, uh, a double stacked hive that is slammed full of bees, but that don't always work out. As you can see, we've got eggs and larvae on this frame. If we can get it to focus just right, right there some. So it looks like we've got a laying queen. We'll see if we can find her right quick. If I can find some more, uh, more eggs and larvae, would I have to tear the hive all the way apart? And that's what I'll do. I try to do as little bit of damage to a hive as I can. And when I say damage, that means taking it apart. Because when you take it apart, then they have to go back through and repropolize and all that good stuff. And hopefully you can see the eggs in there. We got lots of eggs, freshly laid, one to three days old. And of course there's some older stuff in here too, like right in here, as you can tell. So this hive's doing good. I don't really see any reason to go any further they've got room to grow matter of fact i might go ahead and put another hive body on this hive to go ahead and give them some room because we should have some golden rod rod that's going to be blooming here before too long and i'd rather go ahead and give them room for her to move up than to wait and they swarm on me but there's different stages of eggs and larvae through here. Hopefully y'all can see that. And roll through the different stages of them. So I know this hive's doing good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. And like I said, I'm gonna give them another hive or another uh, hive body to start working on. Tell you what, the wax moths have just been on it this year for me. If I've got one front hive somewhere that's got just a little bit of drone comb in it, that's off a hive, they will destroy it. So as always, I'm just gonna set one single frame in here slide these back together slide very well and try to put them back kind of the same way they came out before I removed that and the reason for putting that frame up top is to give the bees a reason to go up there and look and see what's going on and it helps them move up a little bit quicker too so there we go 
that's how we do it we'll do a wrap up right quick these are two frames that i had in that hive body a while ago it was just two let out there by herself nothing in them and you can see that the wax moths have just destroyed them you can see all the little larvae running around now what you could do is if you got chickens you could put them in there and let the chickens tear them up and eat the larvae and stuff or you could put them in the freezer and freeze them but for the most part these uh that foundation's toast so you could cut the foundation out and throw it in a chicken coop if you got any chickens or anything like that if you don't you cut it out and burn it that way you at least kill the, the larva or whatever but if you've never seen wax moth damage that's what it looks like so like i said those two frames was in a 10 frame hive body it was side by side the rest of it was just wax found old plastic foundation uh and they decided to get in there and destroy it so as far as that hive goes got plenty of eggs plenty of larva they got plenty of resources to do what they need to do uh right there's our bee feeder right there uh it's probably 80 yards from the hives and as you can see we got bunches of them and then i got some more behind the house but uh so we give them that extra frame to go do whatever they need to do or an extra hive body so they can move up like i said with the sugar water and we're fixing to have goldenrod come in i want to go ahead and give them room that way i haven't got to worry about trying to check them in the next couple of days and then give it to them so we got decent weather for the next couple of weeks so uh that's the reason why we do what we do hope y'all enjoyed the video if you got any questions or comments leave them in the comments below uh i think that's about it for this one hope y'all doing good and as always we'll see y'all on the next one over here are some videos that i also think you would like so go ahead and click on one of them and continue watching i do appreciate y'all watching and as always we'll see you on the next one